Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another video, this time not the chess game, but I would like to, uh, you know, just give my two cents about the, the issues in chess community, uh, which, you know, we have a lot of uh, interesting uh, opinions now about elitism in chess. Uh, does it exist? Uh, I would like to tell you my story, my opinion, and it's uh, quite frankly different than, than others. Uh, maybe because I didn't experience it on myself. And I'm not saying now it doesn't exist, just maybe I just didn't experience, okay? So, uh, in my opinion, it's everything about the interaction between people in general, not only in the chess community, okay? Because uh, when you approach the people, normally, when you approach the people on the street and you have to, you know, approach them somehow and uh, talk to them and uh, if you are interesting, maybe they will want to talk with you or maybe not. Uh, you know, and what do you think about them? Because most people uh, will just not want to talk with you because you are a stranger and uh, and that, that, is the, that is the first thing. So... Uh, the first thing, have you ever approached them, uh, you know, saying yeah, like, okay, grandmasters, international masters or other people don't want to interact with lower ranked players or maybe, you know, uh, candidates or FIDE masters uh, even more because they think like, wow, they are so strong, so they don't want to interact. But actually, have you ever tried to approach them? This is the first thing. Or you just make, you know, imagination that... Uh, they will not talk with me. And I will tell you the story about that uh, just in a while. The second thing is how you approach them. If you already approach them, how you do that? So first, what energy you put in your interaction? If you come and, hello, what's your name? That's maybe, maybe they're not going to be interested in talking with you because you are a boring person. Or maybe uh, they will because they are introverts, you are introvert, you are shy, they are shy. And, and you can, you know, create the bonds and, and, you know, and have friends for life. But that's another story. Uh, your energy should always be, you know, good. You should approach with the, to the people uh, and, uh, you know, uh, not everybody, of course, is, you know, self-confident. Uh, but at least you should try put some energy and effort in approaching other people and, uh, and then try to become more interesting. Because uh, I actually have the uh entrepreneur experience uh, quite long time because for 15 to 20 years uh, i do some business uh, so i have to approach a lot of people uh, i have to have the the meetings business meetings some sometimes you know go to the factories uh talk what can be produced what cannot uh, and i have that experience already so i know how to approach people and i understand all the issues when people are afraid to talk uh, to other people uh, also, another important thing is the time right to approach because in the chess community, if you go to, let's say, Grandmaster before the round and he's going to play a very important game, uh, he's not even able or, or have the will to, to answer any of your issues, you know, even you are the most friendly person in the world. He just is focused on the game. Uh, and it's the same with the other people. If they, you know, run to, the, to their, they are late. Uh, and, and going to, to their job, uh, they don't have time to interact with you. So right time is also important here. And all of that makes a huge difference because, you know, if something doesn't work, then you can make a different imagination. Now I will tell you my story, how, how this happened in my life, because this is exact uh, the story which fit to that, uh, to all I said. So, uh, I was playing chess as a kid, uh, but I didn't, you know, go to any club. We just play with friends. We even didn't know any openings and so on until I was a teenager. Uh, we had some uh, some tournament where my friend won uh, and he got the first ever book we've seen chess book ever. And, and I borrowed this book from him and I see, wow, if I play D4, D5, C4, E6, uh, this is actually uh, Queen's Gambit declined and, and this a lot of people play. So I went for another tournament. I play here, here. Okay, I, I do better. That is nice. 
And then, you know, somebody played D4, D5, C4, E5. And I said, hey, you don't know how to play chess. And then what is going on? And then I started to think, okay, about the openings repertoire and, and stuff and so on. Uh, and then I started to play a bit better. On the in the in my local town, and and we had some festival where candidate master from the from the city next to to, to our town just came and played the simultan, and I was one who drew that simultan, and you know uh, some guy approached me and he said he want to make the the club in our town or in the village next to our town that was you know very small village for the uh, for the kids in his school because he was a teacher and i agreed to help him with that uh, he put me on the first board uh, he registered our club in the league uh, and we actually played in the league of course we lost to 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 everyone all the clubs just won uh, with the in the first season but I made a lot of friends, chess friends there. And then whenever I went to tournaments, uh, then I always stay with them uh, in the rooms, in the hotel rooms uh, or dormitory rooms. And uh, and we just play, you know, uh, chess nonstop. Uh, whenever we go for the round, we go for the round and we go to eat something and then we play chess and, uh, and so on. So uh, very friendly environment. Uh, okay, I, I found that I like chess community. Uh, and then one of the tournaments which came, uh, there were a lot of, you know, elite players, let's say grandmasters, uh, international masters, uh, th they were elite for me. I had no category at all. And I see so beautiful girl and her ranking is 2100. And I think like, no, I, I cannot even, I like to talk with the girls, but I couldn't approach them because her ranking is 2100 and I don't have even ranking. So she will not even talk with me. That was my opinion. OK, so this was in my brain. I didn't even try to approach. OK, you understand what I mean? So you can think that somebody there is some elitism mm. in chess. But did you even try to approach? And the story has the has the better ending because half year later, uh, just by accident, I found her email uh, on some website and I wrote to her and uh, she was coming next to my city for some, you know, national championship. Uh, she was one of the top players and uh, and I just asked and maybe we can meet. And, and I spent very nice two days with, with her. You know, we went to the city, to, to some, you know, um, natural places, some, some, you know, meadows and stuff like that. Very nice uh, spent time. And I talked to her about this tournament and she said, why you didn't approach me? Because at that time I was, that was the worst tournament in my life. I was so lonely. I had nobody there and I had no one to talk. So she was shy to talk with other people and I was shy to, you know, to come to the person who needed that. You, 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 you catch what, what, what I'm saying? Because this is uh, what happened in my life. And then in the next tournaments, I just didn't care. I approached the grandmasters, international masters. Everybody was friendly to me. Uh, I catch the, you know, eye contact uh, and they talk with me uh, after the games and uh, I told them what, what I want, like and they give me some advices if I'm not going to, to, you know, to play in the chess club, how I can improve my chess, you know, on my amateur level uh, and so on. And they play with me chess as well. I played with some grandmasters also in the hotel rooms later, like, you know, when uh, after the round, uh, everybody just meet uh, and, and, you know, spend nice time. It's of course, it's much easier if you are 18, let's say 18, 25 years old, when you are in the high school or in the university, that that's true because people interact more, much more easier. Uh, but I remember we had a lot of guys, 40, 50, even some 60 years old guy hang out also. And uh, all of that community were, were very cool. I'm not sure now how it's now, because now is, you know, 20 years later. So maybe I'm just old school and now it doesn't work. But I don't think so. I think it works in every community the same way. Now, I would like to tell you uh, something about elitism in of the popular uh, YouTubers, popular streamers. If you have, for example, 3 million, 4 million, 10 million subscribers, okay, a lot, you are very popular. You simply don't have time to interact with every single, uh, with every single follower. Yeah, everybody understands that because answering the comments would take the ages. 
Uh, I have a little channel where I just started, so I have 500 subscribers. So I just, you know, click, click, answer all the uh, couple of comments under videos and and that's all. So, so I understand. But then there are the people among them which really have time, even they already have the quite big channels uh, and they always have time, you know, to interact with, with, I'm not sure with everybody, but I will just tell you the stories and I would like to, you know, uh, you know, pay some gratitude to them. I'm really, really happy that they answering all my concerns. Uh, so I will name a couple of channels, chess channels, actually, uh, because this is the topic about chess. So I know a lot of channels which interact with with me uh, because I'm interested, you know, with interaction with me, but with other uh, followers as well. But I would like to show you the, the chess channel. So first, uh, after 20 years, I came back to chess. Okay, I haven't play play for 20 years, and I, I'm I'm a bit ashamed that you know I had a so big break. Uh, however, I started to follow a couple of the most popular channels, and then Eric Rosen's channel was was one of them. Very popular, one of the most popular streamers. Very calm guy, and I love to watch his videos. And and Eric was coming to my city, so I wrote to him personally and asked, hey Eric, I will show you the city you will spend one chess day with me. Are you okay with that? And he just agreed and we spent a very nice day uh, and then I showed him what he wanted to see in my city. And, uh, and, and that was like really, really cool. And now whenever I write to Eric, uh, he usually, not always, but usually uh, have time to, uh, to answer and uh, all my concerts. He gave me a lot of advices um, about the Twitch, about YouTube and about chess, of course. And I'm really, really grateful. So that is the very good example, you know, the, the uh, YouTuber or, or Twitch streamer who interact, you know, even not only on stream, because when you interact on stream, that is a different idea. You want to entertain uh, people. So they want to stay longer with you. So uh, this is how you, how you do stream. So that is a different story. But he didn't benefit, uh, you know, with me uh, at all by, you know, talking privately with me. Another YouTube channel which interacts with uh, with me at least uh, in direct messages is Chess with Suren. Suren answer all my concerns and also spend a lot of time and effort to you know talk to me, uh, give me some advices, uh, show me how the community in YouTubers works. Even I have you know uh, not many subscribers. He has 100,000 and he still have time you know to talk in direct messages uh so very nice guy uh, and and he has and i like his channel because he has the unique games which you know uh which usually are very, very impressive. So beautiful, you know, combinations uh, and, and mating attacks, sacrifices and, and not well-known games, but he always dig for, for the beautiful game. So uh, this is another example of the person who could be, you know, elite uh, and don't interact with people. OK, and then also I have uh, I, I would like to address because now I'm addressing a couple of channel Yozarov's chess channel. This is channel which has only uh, at this moment 9000 viewers, but also very, very nice guy. Uh, and I played with him a lot of games. So we played chess, uh, you know, without any streamings, just for fun. Uh, he also gave me some advices. He announced my channel in his channel as well. Uh, just I got a couple of subscribers uh, from his viewers. Also very nice guy. And I really appreciate that, you know, he put all the effort uh, in introducing me the, the chess YouTube uh, community and uh, and also announcing my channel. And and playing with me just you know he's much better player uh, we played a lot of games uh, and he won most uh, I draw a couple of times even won once I think once or twice uh, and that was something like wow I, I feel I feel good that I did it and uh, that's another and there are some small channels which um, which just you know uh, 
uh, just growing their channels, which I would like to also announce because they always find the time to answer all my concerns. Uh, and we talked in direct messages. So uh, one of them is William Jones Chess Show. Uh, he has a very awesome, uh, you know, commentary content. Uh, and and he always write the comments on my channel and very detailed comments uh, about uh, what happened in that game. It's like example of the person who really enjoy all the lines and finding all the beautiful moves. So this is one. He's uh, he has a very small channel like me, uh, but I really entertain his content. So I also recommend that. And another small uh, channel with uh, with a couple of followers is uh, the Chess Giant. Also very professional approach to chess. Uh, a lot of interesting uh, puzzles and interesting uh, games. He doesn't show the all the co all the games commentary, but he showed the the crucial moments and show you know uh, how to win that and what is the idea behind. Sometimes he also show some unique opening ideas. So also I really entertain his content and there are a couple of, of other channels which uh, they started to be you know uh, not very popular but after a couple of thousand viewers they just stop uh, you know making the content as it was too tough and then they just subscribe to my channel and just for support they wrote just i'm subscribing you for the support so very very nice and i have to say that that's all because uh, whenever I approach any other uh, channels, like bigger channels, uh, they just ignore me. There, there is, there is, there is nothing. So I could call it elitism as well. However, I understand, you know, the 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 big guys don't have the time and they don't have even interest uh, in paying attention on smaller channels. They can interact with the um, followers because you know that's how how they do. They they need to take care of the followers. But if the you know other small channels um, approach, they I understand uh, all everything and uh, I could call them elitists, but I don't. So uh, that's my two cents. And I hope you at least understand that there can be uh, other points of view. If you even don't try to approach other people, chess players or people, because the community doesn't really matter, uh, then you cannot call them, you know, uh, elitism or, or, or something like that, uh, because they even don't know you approach them. Also, if you approach them in the wrong time uh, with the bad attitude, that is also the, the case. So it happened uh, uh, very, very often. And last by, but not least, Keep in mind that, you know, grandmasters are the people who put a lot of time and effort. It's hard job to get to the grandmaster level. So instead of hanging out uh, with the friends uh, in the bars and drinking a beer with them when they were teenagers, when they interact with people, they stay with the chessboard. Sometimes because they love it, sometimes because they want it, but sometimes because the parents force them and they cannot interact with other people because they don't have that skills often they are just uh, introverts and if you approach them they are shy to talk and uh, and they not approach other pe people because they are shy to talk so uh, this is also the issue that uh, some chess players just would love to talk with others but but they don't have a chance. They just don't approach each other. So keep in mind that this also can be a case. And I hope you like this video and leave the comment because I'm very, very interested if the elitism exists or not, or maybe there are some assholes uh, who don't care about the other people and, you know, stay in their bubble of elite, you know, friends or maybe it's just our imaginations in many cases. So just keep in mind and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.